Hello everyone, this is AC Marik today welcoming you to my new illustrated tutorial. Today I'll show you how to make a abstract logo. So let's start. I'm going to be the file and taking a new and the artboard will be thousand by thousand and go to the more settings and thousand by thousand and the screen will be 150 bpi and create document and you'll get a thousand by thousand just hardboard after that now you have to take a, just a, take two or three gradient you know how to create gradient okay let's see how to create gradient at first uh, i'm taking the you know, gradient palette like that and turning off the stroke color i just only keep the fill color and for here is the gradient palette or gradient just uh, set up if you don't get this icon over there you have to go to the window and here is the gradient and uh, here is the gradient and f9 control f9 you can get this okay here is a, a preset over there i'll take this one and i'll uh, just give two colors uh, to random colors like that or you can take other colors like that yeah that's good and i'm taking another color another one and i'm just making copy this one and taking another two colors like uh, this and this or this one that's good and another another one i'm copying this one and taking another color like uh, this one and this one okay yeah, that's good okay after that i'll take uh draw uh ellipse like that okay that's good or you can use the paint tool and just make it random type shapes okay but you need to make it smooth that's why here is the smooth tool uh, and press and hold here the smooth tool and you can make it move smooth like that you can more accurate at your home okay that's good and Ctrl C and Ctrl F, Ctrl C for copy and Ctrl F for paste. Ctrl C and F, and I'm just making just another copy and rotating this one. Ctrl C and Ctrl F, Ctrl C for copy and A for forward paste. Ctrl C and F. Okay, select all the uh, shapes and take suppose this gradient or this gradient is good, and here is the opacity. The the opacity down and you can make it in a middle here is the alignment tool or you can get alignment tool from the windows go to the window and alignment okay or align this one you will get this one okay after that uh, go to the ellipse tool again and take uh, ash color and make select all the things select this ellipse tool and window align and align this one in the middle okay everything in the middle and you can rotate and you can give like that okay. like that okay and take the text tool and i'll use the just uh, makes a uh, Bebas, Bebas is good and make it bigger suppose 48 and I'll give the random and make it white and just give here and taking another one and here is the book options and logo making it smaller and 
and aligning it in the middle and here is you can give this one and you can write something which is 